Hey guys, how you doing? So we have no power still, but I wanna make a quick video. Uh, so we all like to engrave in these acrylic things and you don't need a CO2 or nothing for, you know, big. You can do it with your little F1. Uh, you can do it with your F1 Ultra. You can do it with your D1 even. <clears throat> so what I wanna do right now I want to show you something that I'm using so I'm using this little uh, I think they're like beauty sprays or airbrushes and on the top I feel one, two parts of black tempera and water that's it so it just mix very well you know and you have two speeds you hear speed one and the slow speed so I want to use a slow speed so I remove this comes with a film in both sides so I just remove one make sure that it's clean uh, it's quite windy so I hope I can make this here and I'm using an airbrush because the last couple times I tried to use the you know sponge brush and it's not great it, it, it came with some parts a little thicker than others so I want to do uh, this thing that I got for testing so we're gonna kind of a go with this and I'm not going to do nothing magical, so I'm gonna show you here what I'm doing. All right, so here it is. I wanna turn this on the slow speed. I open the bulb all the way. I wanna hold it on the bottom because the bottom is not gonna be engraved. It's just basically the circle part. And I'm gonna give you a couple taps on the top first. You know, I wanna make sure that that doesn't sputter or mix blobs. And I'm gonna try to go with this. Uh, I don't know if this is too watery right now, so I'm just trying not to make a mess. So these are not the greatest options, you can use any other stuff, but I want to try to see how well this works no idea how well it will be but I'm trying to make it more even than my brushes and I want to let this dry and see how this actually worked there we go so I'm trying to make it more even again I'm not trying to make nothing special and you can get these airbrushes for 30 bucks so that's a wet coat so I'm gonna let this dry there's a little particles here and there well it's kind of windy so maybe is that probably is that it was a little bit too watery on my tempera so probably a little bit more tempera paint uh, but let's let it dry and give it a try later all right so we have painted this with the little airbrush that I got and I will put the link for the airbrush in the description below and I want to use this jig that I made for these guys so this guy will be also in the description below um, so in this jig you will notice there is one part that is square instead of a pointy thing so that square is strictly to set this like so so let's change this on the laser I have my bottom cover uh, I will put a link for these guys so this goes there and the advantage of this is that allows me to have the material raised number one number two it has a very decent area because you don't want to go on the edge you want to create something in the center to have the whole effect of light so the last one I made I made it on the X2 F1 Ultra 
I want to now try to find the right settings for my F1. So let's take the lens cover and I'm going to focus the laser right, right on the black coating. So I'm going to keep that there and I'm going to close it and let's go to the software. Okay, uh, I have here a Merry Christmas uh, design that I use for other stuff. I'm gonna use it also here. So there is a couple of things that I'm gonna take in consideration. Number one, this is a round element. So since it's a round element, you know, you wanna try to engrave this nice in the center of your piece. Since it's going to be like now in the center of the piece, uh, I'm going to create first my rectangle area for where this is sitting and I'm gonna say I don't know why I'm creating a rectangle this is a circle <laughs> so let's create the circle I'm gonna move the circle to a different color just to make sure where it is it's here in the middle and I want to change the dimensions. So I'm with the updated version of the software. So now the dimensions are no longer on the right. They are back to the top. So in this case, I'm going to say this is a hundred by a hundred. And I'm going to put it here. Here is the center. So knowing that that's the distance and everything that I want to use, I'm going to make this about yay big. Uh, now. The settings that I use on my F1 Ultra are not going to really work on this one because it's different laser, 20 watt instead of 10 watt. So I want to give it a first try, uh, kind of a shot in the dark. I'm going to turn this off or erase it in this case. So what I want to do, and I'm going to put this file uh, in the description so you guys can download the file and use it. I'll put it on a zip file with that SVG and the X2 created space for you. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a blue light. And the last one I did it on my Ultra with 40% power. I'm gonna use this one in 60% power. 80% 80 millimeters per second is fine. And I'm gonna change my lines like I did on the Ultra 160. Let me see. Um, actually, I want to do the lines 260 because it was uh, actually a little slower. Uh, millimeter per second, 80. I think we're fine on 80 and 60 on the power. So now that I have that, uh, I want to hit frame really quick. So now I see the square where it's going to be. It looks nice. I, I usually like to have uh, some negative area or clear areas because if not, it looks a bit crowded. So now that is fine, I'm gonna close that. And I'm going to stop the framing. Go to the process screen. Here is what it's going to be doing. And there is uh, 17 minutes approximately. This is how it's going to be. Now, this is a compute object because it's a vector file. I'm going to hit start. Now that it's ready for my laser, for those that don't know, we make a pedal as well. So we have a pedal on the website for your F1. So I'm gonna hit my pedal. And there is the F1 going. Smoke goes out, and there you go. So, here is, is a nice and a frosted uh, 
logo here. I hope you guys can see it properly. So I'm gonna go and watch this and see how everything turns out. This is tempera paint, so it should be fairly easy to wash out. Yep, it's just coming out. You don't want to scratch this too much with nothing abrasive on it, but there we go. So, remember that we paint this, but we keep the, the backing, so I'm going to dry it with a paper towel, so this is super quick to clean up. I'm going to make sure that there is no paint in here. It was just, just a little bit of warm water and it came out super nice and you can feel it. So I'm very excited about this one.